Creative leadership is, in my opinion, the way for leaders to create a future-proof business. As a philosophy, creative leadership builds on a shared environment for continuous innovation, creativity and mission-driven entrepreneurship. As an act, creative leadership for prosperous brands, individuals, teams and communities require a transparent, adaptable but formative framework to unleash its true power. In my day-to-day -day life, when not being a husband, father or wannabe athlete, or even a bit then too, as a person running an international creative agency, I see considerable potential for combining creative leadership with modern marketing. If you haven't checked out my previous videos on creative leadership, you might want to watch them here in my channel. In those, I go through in detail what creative leadership is, how I found it, and why I stand behind its unmatched upside. But as a marketer and as the head of a creative agency, I felt like the creative leadership model alone is not enough to meet the current requirements to run a marketing operation for a brand looking to grow. Today's marketing environment is in constant flux. Digital touch points, privacy requirements, technologies and customer preferences as the world around us with its heavyweight phenomenons from pandemics to inflations require marketing teams with their operations to innovate and adapt constantly. Gone are the days when you could draft an annual marketing calendar and a budget that would work out to see through. Nonetheless, I believe that marketing, with its power in combining creativity and data, needs a blueprint, an operation manual, an operating system, if I may. With our creative agency, Norders, and with around 100 brands we get to help grow by deploying agile marketing, we've come to see this need for an operating system that allows brands, with all their stakeholders, to transparently build an inno innovative and adaptable execution strategy from defining their value proposition to running tactical niche campaigns. So we went all out looking for one. We studied different models and approaches, confident that a creative leadership framework had to be at the heart of any successful marketing strategy. But we couldn't find one. No marketing operating system specifically built for creative leaders was to be found. Hence, we built one. Allow me to introduce the Creative Sales and Marketing Operating System, or OS. Be aware though, no overnight miracles here. A lot of hard work, discipline and focus are required. Failure is going to follow too, that's for sure. But if we stay on track with creative leadership and implement this marketing operating system into our culture, we will leave the competition behind not knowing what hit them. The Creative Leader Marketing OS consists of 13 individual parts that I'll next list briefly. The core concept of this OS is to make it fast and cost efficient for your brand to achieve systematic growth by building a transparent and easy to deploy marketing strategy that will inspire all your stakeholders and leave them feeling accountable. This operating system digital by its nature, and its 13 parts can be viewed as a treasure map. Some of its parts you know well, some of them you probably have even mastered, some of them though can be new to you and to your team. Some of them will require difficult cultural changes. The operating system has its blueprint in contextual marketing principles. We help our ideal customers solve their problems through value-providing experience where and when it's the right time for them and always on their terms and with their permission. Okay, no more going around it. Here are the 13 parts that make the creative sales and marketing OS. OKRs. What are the brand's main objectives and what key results are required for it? Vision. Why does the brand exist? What is its purpose? Workspace, what tools do marketing teams need and how are they integrated? Brand, what is the brand's identity and how it is communicated? Strategy, what marketing strategy and its more detailed actionable plan must be followed? Platform, 
what and what kind of and with what content is the brand's own platform such as the website. Channels, what external channels such, such as social media are needed and how are they built. Content, what kind of content is built for the brand's audience. Distribution, how is the content distributed to earn its customers' attention? Onboarding, how are new customers helped to solve their problems after purchase? Expansion, how customers can buy more? Community, how customers can interact with the brand and with each other? Advocacy, how customers can be turned into evangelists? In the following videos, I'll cover each part in more detail, so consider subscribing to the channel to get the new Creative Leader Marketing OS content delivered straight to your feed. That's it. In our view, creative leaders can combine creative leadership with digital experience and value-focused contextual marketing to build future-proof marketing operations that keep hitting the mark. What do you think? I would love to hear your take on this. Leave a comment here, email me at jonas at norders.agency or start a conversation on social media where you can find me from LinkedIn or Twitter. My name is Jonas Kyllianen. I am a creative leader, marketing entrepreneur, father, husband, aspiring athlete and co-founder and CEO of Norders, a creative agency with roots in Finland and bases in Norway, Tallinn and Dubai and a network of rising star creatives around the globe. See you on the next one.